Hey guys, welcome back, SD here, and we're going to be playing a little bit more of Detroit. Last episode we left off with uh, Connor at the um, police station with Hank, and that was kind of interesting with how that went. And now we're starting up uh, the story with uh, Kara again, and as you can tell, we uh, chose the last time we left off with her to break into the abandoned car. Unfortunately, I didn't feel like stealing clothes or holding up the guy at the uh, convenience store, um, so... It's kind of, I think those are a few different options within that convenience store in order to either A, get something like a wire cutter to cut the fence to stay in the abandoned house or uh, steal money and go stay at the motel. Either way, just wasn't something I wanted to, to go down at that point, that path, but we, we will definitely venture into those later. So, as always, uh, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. If you dislike it, hit the thumbs down. Please leave some comments in the comment section below as always I, I really do look at those uh, comments and um, love discussing the game your thoughts any feedback uh, I definitely implore you guys uh, utilize that and uh, with that said let's uh, let's check it out and see what uh, Kara has to offer in this uh, next episode So my, my guess is we're going to have to try to regain some of Alice's trust. But so far, I'm, I don't know. I don't know that I would consider my topic selection the most successful. Because what I, I feel like I've been selecting, at least with Hank, hasn't always been the right thing. All right, so explore, check the neighborhood. Yeah, Hank, Hank's a tough one to crack. So change appearance. We need to cut hair, find new clothes, and then check neighborhood. Oh, what the? What's this? Huh. A death to androids. Well, is there not anything we can use off of him? We can't get through here because we need some wire cutters still. I mean, are we really going to leave the girl in the car? I just have a bad feeling about that. Cyber wildlife. Cyber life. And let's see, what else do we have? Canada. Looks like the Skylon Tower. In Canada, still Android free zone. wonder why it's not moving down. That's interesting. Could be a glitch. Okay. A pair of scissors? Are you kidding me? Did I miss that from before? What, what, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's to cut her hair. Um... Okay, now she definitely looks like more of the, the character in the following. Uh, white, blonde, black. Um, let's check out white. Blonde. White makes her look old. Blonde looks interesting. What's black look like? Black looks good. Brown. I was thinking white, but yeah, that just... Wow, does that make her look old or what? Definitely changes her appearance. I mean, if that's what we're going for, I would say the white... Uh, white does it. We're going to go with the white. Let's just leave it that way. I... I uh, which is so hard. Normally when I change my characters, the, the blonde looks pretty good. When I change my character's hair color, I usually do like solid white, but they generally don't look old. I mean, that's like 
It's almost like gray. That's not white. All right. I'm going to go blonde. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how much of an impact this has on the story, but uh, whatever. Okay, cut here, remove LED, that's done. All right, so we need find new clothes. Can we not grab it? Definitely a lot of people out now, and there's a cop over there. He's looking at you. All right. We need clothes. Police trolling the air. Patrol, patrolling. He's patrolling the area. So I was thinking we could grab the crowbar. Maybe pop the trunk. Maybe we don't have to. Okay, need tool. Well, that's where the crowbar comes in hand. I was trying to be proactive. Give me that shit. I assume maybe there's clothes or a dead body in here. I don't know which, but... I would think that would wake Alice up. Bomber jacket. Okay, escape the district. Wake Alice up. Oops, wrong control. Time to go, Alice. saw yesterday he gave me an address he said we could get help there the train passes just on the other side of the road the station can't be far you feel okay to walk a little let's go then That's kind of what we were aiming for, Alice. Alright, so... Leave parking lot. I mean, you know, too bad we just can't, like, hop the damn fence or something. We could have climbed up, you know, on, on this barrier, then jumped over, but no! That would be too damn easy. The police are on our trail. Offering. Oh shit. Here you go. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well let me know if they turn anything up. What are you gonna do with that? I have no idea. Okay, so Hank is still warm towards us, which is good. It took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. 
deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Maybe. Reach the train station. Danger level 38%. But hold R2 to see threats in your destination. Okay. So there's a threat. There's a threat over there. So I'm assuming we have to go where the arrow is pointing, so. It's not going to be that easy. Ross, is that another cop over there? Ninety-five meters to go. Yeah, that was a cop back there. I have a bad feeling about this. I'm gonna be stopping every so often just to take a look around because I'm waiting for Connor or Hank to pop out. <laughs> oh shit holy crap I was like holding my breath oh my god is that a cop there yes so we need to go back across I know I'm gonna go across one of these times and it's just gonna fuck me what Oh, damn. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was close. Son of a bitch. It's like you better hold on to those buttons, boys. Did we make it? It won't get far. We'll find it sooner or later. Let's go. Guys, we're so close. something was wrong like she was sick or something it scared the shit out of me all right so trophy earn run car run so i mean that's the one thing i've i've really noticed it seems like holy shit interaction options obviously man look at all of this so Sneak past police forces. So it looks like there's another route. See, look at that. If I'd have went, reached the train, if we would have went a different route, holy crap, then it would have went off into three different endings down there. 
It's like, I mean, there's a shitload of dialogue here. This is insane. Okay, so like par the parking lot. So if you do the parking lot, you have the hair color, whatever, doesn't mind. Find some clothes. We did all that. So with the parking lot, that obviously lends you to either reach the train or a different option. And then I'm assuming one of these is going to be the abandoned house and the other one's going to be the um, motel. And then look at the differences in those and how they interact and kind of go in a similar direction. Um, it looks like with one of them, there's some dialogue that I was thinking, hold on, there, where's it at? No, there it is. Yeah, it looks like with one of them right here, you can meet up with uh, Kara and Alice in the street and go the same route that I just went. Or you can deviate from that and kind of go back into this other area, which that first option just gives you the same thing. Now with these other ones, it looks like, yeah, towards the end, again, it kind of gives you that option where it spurs into this other three categories. I mean, that's some extended dialogue. So I don't know if we took the easy way out, the best route, but that's what's cool about this game. You just don't freaking know. Anyway, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed that little segment, that little tidbit. That's uh, pretty cool on the run. Anyway, if you uh, enjoyed that, uh, make sure to uh, leave some comments. As always, hit that thumbs up or thumbs down and let me know what you think. Until next time, we'll pick up right where we left off on the next episode. You guys, take care.